Hey, what is going on guys? Alone here. So today I want to talk about my three different accounts and overall what my progress was in season 5 compared to my other seasons and where I ended up. Now this is my first account, I only really do on this account and I play any support that I have to and flex overall whenever I need to and that one ended on like 3880, I play with a friend of mine on that account and I never really queue otherwise so I have played a shit ton on that but that's because he's been playing a shit ton as well. Now this one I only solo queue on, I never ever do or anything and I peaked at 3934 which was so close to Grandmaster I almost got annoyed in the end because I didn't get it. But I played a lot of Symmetra and Mercy on that one, and overall I just flex when I have to, really. I, I'm not that type of guy who just sticks to one hero when I realize it isn't working, because that's just stupid. Now, this is my last account, and it's actually my main account, but I haven't played that much on this account. And I only really played this account mostly in the end of the season, which is kind of bad, because that's when people start to not get as serious anymore. And I dropped from like 3,900-ish, a bit lower than that, I think, all the way down to Diamond. And I have to to say I could easily get mastered back but I just started practicing heroes in the end like McCree and Widow and mostly because and I was actually performing pretty good on these heroes even though I don't play them that much because I got my 100 and 144 hertz screen which is massive like you guys do not understand if you're playing on a 60 hertz screen I think Nathan if you watch him he made a video on that recently and it's crazy I'm going to link that in the description by the way like it is he is correct when I was playing on a 60 hertz screen I was mainly mostly Symmetra, Winston, all those heroes that doesn't really require that much mechanical aim. I played some Sanyata, but like not that much. But when I got my 144 hertz screen, my game like aim overall got way way stronger and I could actually reliably get picks as McCree and Widow even in Masters, even though I don't play them that much. So yeah, you should get a 144 hertz screen if you do not have one. So I had two goals for this season that I want to talk about. The first one was Grandmaster, and I did get really close on three accounts to it, but I did not get it. Maybe if I only focused on one account, I might have been able to get it. But then again, I played a shit ton overall on three accounts, and I didn't get it on any of them, so I don't know if that would happen. But anyways, I was very close, so I'm fine with that. My second goal was to get really good at all the supports, not just specifically one or two. I was really good at Symmetra before and I was decent at Senyata. I was not really good at the other supports at all and I feel like since I got my 144Hz screen I have been able to improve a lot and overall of course playing a lot. I've played so much, it's insane. And that's why I feel like I'm comfortable with all the different supports now and I feel like I deserve a high Masters or even Grandmaster rank as basically all the supports except maybe Lucio. Reason being I just don't really enjoy playing Lucio that much and when I fill as him I do decent but I'm not sure if that's because we just needed a Lucio or it's because I'm actually playing well as Lucio. So yeah, this is going to be the end of this video. I just wanted to make a short video talking about how I've been doing this season and please let me know how your season has been. Besides all the toxicity, how has your improvement gone and basically how much better you are at the game now compared to the last season. And also before I end the video, I want to talk about what my goal for season 6 is, which is going to be to hit Grandmaster, get even better at all the support heroes based, like literally all of them. And then also practice some DPS heroes like McCree, Doomfist, and I actually have a Saria friend who is really good at Saria that wants to do some Doomfist Saria combos with me. So I want to get really decent at Doomfist so I can do that efficiently. So that's going to be interesting for the next season. It seems like Saria, Doomfist, Reinhardt and McCree is going to be in the meta next season, which is really exciting. It sounds like a really fun meta compared to the dive comp. So anyways, this is going to be it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how your season has been and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.